A lot of people wondering, what are king tides anyway? It's not really a scientific term. It's taken off in recent years as a colloquial or conversational term for the typical normal winter tides we see here in the northern hemisphere. They're lifted up, of course, because of the cycle of the moon. And we can read the tide tables and pretty much prepare for them when they're coming in. But to get water that high where it's flooding the shoreline, you end up with those co coastal flood advisories and whatnot. That's what happens when the king tide coincide with a big storm. Last December on the West Coast, we had an extremely deep area of low pressure, and so that kind of took the tide charts and the numbers that people were expecting and knocked them out of the park, and we ended up with much higher water than forecast as a result. And because of that, if you've got a big storm and that happens to coincide with the king tides, that can lead to shoreline flooding like we saw around Lady Liberty at Elkhai Beach last December. For the National Weather Desk, I'm meteorologist Shannon O'Donnell. Hey, thank you so much for watching. While you're here, check out some other videos you just may like.